Okay, hey guys, what is going on? My name is Ati Zonda, and basically, what I have right here is a kind of, um... Zonda Plays Laptop PC style game, and basically, oh, oh um, this right here is the new, in fact, I'm just going to turn the sound down just a little bit. Right, basically, this right here is the uh, XMG P303, and uh, basically, this right here is Battlefield 4, so it's a rather high, graphically demanding, intense game on low quality settings with a 765, we are getting 25 FPS roughly, which isn't that bad, it's playable, uh, normally you're aiming for only 30 FPS marks, 25 FPS, 25 frames per second, if you didn't know what that was, that will do me just fine. And um, basically, in fact, just turn the sound up a little bit more so you get a little bit of sound out of that. I'm going to jump out my Jeep. And um, basically, this right here is uh, the P303, which is one of the XMG's kind of lower range laptops, I believe. Uh, the starting price is around 650 to 700 pounds for the basic model, which is this one, which is the 765M uh, graphics, uh, graphics card by G uh, GTX NVIDIA. And um, then you've got stuff like. Oh my god! Um, and then you've got stuff like, um, it has an Intel i7 4th generation quad core processor, which obviously makes it fucking amazing. Um, which basically means it will work task your PC and do anything you want. Obviously CPU intensive. Uh, you obviously can have other upgrade abilities on this. You can configure them on the website. I'll of course link the website in the description below guys, uh, just so you can actually find that. Um, if I just turn the sound up just a little bit more so you can actually hear stuff actually going on. Um, but basically, um, I just kind of wanted to make a first impression style video. You may have seen like an unboxing and a giveaway that I did with XMG. Um, obviously, it wasn't proper proper boxing unboxing. It was more of a first look. But this is obviously a gameplay first look. And this map is massive. There is no one around. Are we losing that? Right. Um, so literally, do, do, ow. <laughs> My own guy just killed me. I'm I'm tempted to kick, but no, I will not do it. <laughs> um, so basically, obviously, this is their kind of lower range one. This has eight gig of RAM. It has a 200 gig hard drive, uh, the i7 processor, and obviously the GTX 650M. Uh, in fact, is it the seven? No, it's the 765M. I did not mean the 650. So the 765M, which is a two gig GDDR5 graphics card. So it's not a bad a graphics card, and obviously on low graphics settings, this is what you're going to get. Obviously, laptops do run a lot hotter. So you're never going to get the performance of a kind of full desktop PC. But then again, this thing is portable. It means you can play games on the train wherever you go. That's what makes it amazing. Um, so I really am looking forward to actually buying one of these myself. I'm looking at the uh, the 17 inch super slim model that they do. Oh, and my driving is terrible. Uh, please ignore. <laughs> but um. <laughs> um, but this is just, I just wanted to kind of make a first kind of style impressions video um, and hopefully give you guys a kind of look into mobile kind of laptop gaming. And um, I, so far, I'm actually pretty damn impressed. Um, I actually really am impressed. The for, for a game like Battlefield 4 that is so graphically demanded, I was expecting low quality settings to literally look awful. But actually, it does not look too bad at all. Um, it actually looks rather nice um, for a low, for kind of a low quality um, graphical setting. On most games, low quality does not look very nice at all. And for 26, 27, 28 maybe FPS, it's actually running unbelievably smooth. And I'm going to get out the road because there is a tank. So I'm just going to keep running. Uh, but so far in this game, oh, man, I don't think I even got that first kill or whatever, did I? Oh, no, I did get one kill. I did get that kill at the beginning. So. <laughs> but as you guys know, I am terrible on Battlefield 4, especially with a mouse, a keyboard and mouse. Um, it does take a lot of, um, a lot of get going. In fact, we're going to go for A because there seems to be some people up there. Hopefully it will give you guys a little bit more of a demonstration of what this thing can really do when I get into some kind of close range battles. Maybe my uh, internet might be limiting me as well. Unfortunately, normally I play on wired. Um, obviously now I'm playing on wireless, which really is stressing out my router. And it seems that it's not really liking it. And there we go, I'm dead again. <laughs> but um, hopefully this, this is just kind of a first kind of insight into what these sort of laptops are like. They obviously look very, very nice. They're very, very clean, very professional. Uh, in fact, I really am tempted to actually buy one myself. And obviously, for starting at the around £700 mark, it is an absolute bargain of a PC that you can play games such as Battlefield uh, that are so graphically demanding. 
Oh, my aim is so badly off. No, as if I missed him. Oh my god, I really do suck at this game. Hopefully he's going to be around here somewhere. <laughs> he had a pump action shotgun, I had no chance. I went around the corner, started firing, completely missed him. My aim was off and he absolutely destroyed me. Obviously recording over the kind of shoulder like this isn't going to give you the kind of... Um, graphic detail that you get. Obviously Fraps is running in the background which obviously could affect graphics um, so you pr it's probably more like you're hitting the kind of 30 FPS mark maybe. Uh, Fraps often uh, decreases the graphic value just a little bit um, but look at this, it actually looks rather nice doesn't it? Um, I'm not sure which was the actual button that actually makes you change um, perspective but there we go, it, is, it, it looks like a very very nice clean effect game um, in fact, we, we're even going to go for E, and I'm going to parachute in, unless I get shot down, of course. So, come on, helicopter. A little bit quicker. Ejected! 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 And look at the parachute. But yeah, the, the graphics on this game really are rather nice. For a game... Oh, I'm getting shot in midair. For a game on low quality, I really am impressed. But obviously, the most thing is I'm impressed about the laptop. It's very, very nice. I love the kind of sleek look to it. There's a guy just down there. Over that hill. I'm probably going to miss him because I'm terrible at aiming. But we shall see. <laughs> he, he died anyway. He went and jumped off the rock and died. So, um... We'll let him off for that one, um, but I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that as a kill and claim that as mine, as I am the one who made him jump off the rock. Probably didn't, but you know what? It is my kill anyway. It is being claimed. You are. You have no say in this. Oh shit! <laughs> but yeah, that's that's pretty much going to wrap up my kind of first impressions video. I'm maybe going to do another one on this kind of highlight and details more. In fact, um, more in what's the word? Um, in detail. But at the moment, as just kind of first impression of the game, um, obviously this is the kind of first time I believe I've actually made a um, a video on Battlefield 4. Um, I've been trying to record it on my PC, and um, what's the word? Uh, XSplit does not like it one bit. Um, it really does not. So um, we are at the moment. I'm thoroughly limited to recording on this, but obviously this is quite nice, and I'm actually quite impressed with it. So. Well done XMG, you guys have really impressed me with this first laptop. And being your cheapest one for £700, it would be it would be a qu pretty like quick and easy definite decision that I could happily just say, you know what, I might just buy one of these. Um, but there we go, as you can see I'm not very good at Battlefield 4, so I'm going to end it there. I want to say thank you very much guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long one and I know I've been kind of less talkative in parts of it, but obviously trying to get into the game a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty damn impressed with this. Obviously it does run a bit hot, you can hear the fans sometimes, but that's that's just laptops for you in general. But I'm pretty damn impressed with an i7 processor, you cannot go wrong. So I want to say thank you very much guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. A big thank you to XMG for sending me this out for review. My name is Elsie Zonda, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.